guys what's up what's up my beautiful people how are you all doing welcome back to my youtube channel it's a girl again miss flay yes uh for the returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos and for the new members you're so welcome kindly consider subscribing give the video a like share the video to your friends and families i will really really appreciate so much yes so guys today it's another beautiful day it's another beautiful morning and i'm coming live from our home yes not the famous nyabohanse village as some of you are used to it yeah so i'm coming live from another beautiful village where i was born where i was raised and guys trust me when i say today it's another beautiful day in it's another beautiful morning yes so how are you all doing uh, how is your morning how is your evening how is your night wherever you're watching this video from actually here is in the morning as i said earlier and guys you can hear the sounds of nature like the sounds of animal there is uh birds like chickens like uh sheep like guys this is so natural yeah so uh i thank god for everything that he has really done for me guys i'm super super grateful and also i thank you all for always being there with me those are those that have been showing me love and support guys i'm super super grateful and the love that you guys show me is on another level well and i really don't know how to thank you enough but i'm so grateful i don't i don't always take your love and support for granted yes yeah, so guys as you all know there is a, a new project which i actually started for my parents over here in our home and that's what actually brought me here like some few days ago i came to to just do some little things for my parents and then is when now i will be back to nyabohansi yes yeah, so i've been starting a very beautiful project building my parents a home with the with the like uh with my savings and the money which i get from youtube yeah. so uh in a few while in a few minutes guys i'm gonna show you a i'm gonna show you how my progress is actually going on and guys trust me it's really speeding up like i i wasn't really expecting that it will be it will go that like uh that's so quick yes but i thank god for everything and so and also for your support guys watching my videos not skipping the ads really 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 mean a lot to me really really mean a lot to me and guys just hear the sound of nature there's a lot of sheep there's a lot of sheep yeah they are just here grazing and drinking water yes so yesterday i did a live so there's a, a live which I did yesterday with my brother Ken Digest. I don't know if it was that okay. Yeah, but I've seen a few comments like the video was having some like issues, like it wasn't upright, you know. Actually, it was my first time to handle like live. Yeah, so uh, I want to I want to apologize for that. Yeah, it was my first live, and uh, I had already done first live, and Nasu was the one who help me to set everything so when it was my turn yesterday i didn't know how to operate live or maybe how i'm supposed to place my phone like something like that but i think i should have uh, turned on the rotation so that at least the screen could have been rotated but anyway guys sorry for that yes and anyway it actually ended so well yeah it's actually ended so well and i'm so grateful those that uh who cooperated and joined the live love and uh is just on another level as i always say yes yeah, so i'm coming live from our home and this is where actually yesterday uh we were just walking around showing you guys how everything looks here in our home and i showed you that that's like this is where our cattle and sheep and goats like this is where they drink their water and as you can see guys they are grazing and i'm over here at my grandmother's home place i mean because it's in the same compound yeah so this is my grandmother's house yeah and also there is a cow yeah so my cousins are just taking their tea because it's in the morning as i said earlier maybe they i want them today to say something or jijo <laughs> You're taking a breakfast. Tell us what are you taking for breakfast right now, Kamal? Hey guys, what's I'm, up? I'm done from Miss Flick cousin's home. 
<laughs> Kamala is laughing. Okay. English is not vegetable. So I'm talking my breakfast here, guys. I can see Miss Flair. Happy talking to you, guys. Keep, yeah. keep, keep motivating her. Yeah. I'm seeing her happy. Keep making her happy, guys. And okay. also, we want you to open your YouTube, open channel. YouTube channel. You and Kamala over here. <laughs> Say something. Hi, guys. My name is Evans from <laughs> yeah guys so even though they are they have no youtube channels but i'm really hoping for them to maybe when they will support me yeah they will they are here for us guys yeah yes. so promise that when uh dan over here opens his youtube channel you will eventually support him yes yeah. so uh thank they are guys. checking yeah thank you guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah so guys uh thank you also yeah, so let's go uh, and see how everything is taking place in our side. Yes, uh, actually guys, today I'm super, super happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy because like, you know, this is like a dream come true. It's a dream come true. Like, I really know like I, I can do all this. Like, I've never imagined, but it has been always my dream to be helping out yes and thanks to my hubby at it's nasto yeah shout out to nasto uh i don't know if like you know he, he's my mentor he's my everything my supporter my my everything yes so i'm just so grateful to uh to a wonderful partner like to have such a wonderful partner like nasto because he has been really 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 supporting me a lot and urging me to do things like things which I never thought that maybe I could do because he used to encourage me like just keep on working hard keep on working hard keep on pushing like do your videos and you know like also it depends with how someone is like you know with me uh, I always uh, work so hard like doing my videos I always do upload videos like every day yeah so I think uh, that you know like when you're when you're doing something like you keep on working hard even someone might say hey, this person is really capable yeah so i know nasta have already seen like the capability in me and i know that really uh encourages him a lot because uh helping one another like having to be helping one another is something which is so nice yeah so guys let's go and take a look at our project yeah so our home is just cool as usual many trees many many vegeta ah, vegetables no many fruits mangoes guavas and our staple fruit over here is guavas because there's guavas a lot guavas and mangoes and I always say that like each and every day in our videos take a look at how these ships are just doing okay and there are so many of them there are so many ships they are like one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah they are like nine ships wow this is so great and I remember you know like the tail of a ship uh, it is always being cut so that it can um, grow fast yes so guys let's go and see whatever is going on taking place in our in our project yes so as i always say like maybe for the new members i'm just explaining this for the new members yeah this is where oops this is where we get our bricks the homemade bricks yeah uh, we we are not we didn't buy the bricks which we are using right now for construction because actually my dad um, made them all by himself maybe with the, some few help around yeah he managed to make all these bricks and guys they are really a lot and my dad is saying one brick goes at ten dollars I mean ten shillings I don't know how much is ten shillings in dollars yeah around 0, 0.00 0 something yeah so this is where we get bricks uh, which is almost even though there are some which are not are not burnt yet yeah but they're already been made this way but maybe with time 
or later on when they won't be enough they will be able to burn those ones yeah so guys this is how everything looks at the moment and let's go closer yeah and also guys these are the ballast which are remaining but i'm gonna need also more more ballast because for the linton the mason told, told us that you see these ones are not really fine they look like stones yeah so for the linton it uh the ballast which are required are those ones which are which are like they are always like gray grayish in colors which are finely hammered yeah but for this one these ones are not suitable for the linton because linton like it needs the stones which can fit easily which can fit just perfectly well yeah for these ones they will just they won't fit well yeah so when the house reaches that linton area uh, it will force me to be adding more materials yes so i'm really i'm just hoping for the best guys because like and also bags of cements the other day we, we added some was it yesterday yeah yesterday we added some bags of cements and guys they are almost uh they're almost over maybe i will go and check how how many are remaining in the store yeah, but and so far I've bought like 60 bags of cement. Yes, yeah, so for the and I was told like for the linton it really really requires a lot of cement and ballast. Yeah, because they mix a lot of cement compared to normal construction. So uh, it will again force me to add some more cement, some more like the ballast. Yeah, and also the the wires the long wires i don't know how they are called in english the wires which are used in um, tying the linton and they are almost like they are they you get them in different sizes like i saw nasto got some which are a little bit fat <laughs> a little bit fat like i don't know how i don't know if it was do do something yes so that that also i will be it will force me to buy and i'm being so like they're super super expensive and for a, a three bedroom house like this guys i don't know how much how many i will buy because they normally tie them into they're normally tied for yeah for each and also that's gonna be another budget like and also what will we need for the lintel i think that's all but uh, i'm just hoping that everything will just fall in place in place because like i really believe you know when you say something is impossible is when now it becomes more even more more impossible but if you believe in it like you believe like everything will be okay trust me guys everything will be just okay and as i said earlier i don't want to pressure myself because you know i'm still new in all this i'm just trying to help out in every way i can yeah but when i reach at a point where i can't no more like i would just give my give myself time and maybe catch up uh through financial you know you have to be you have to have like you have to be able to have money maybe to buy those materials which, which are needed but if maybe the, you are not financially stable at the moment you can just wait give yourself time maybe another month maybe after yeah so that's what i'm planning to do even though i really wanted the house to reach at linton area yeah because tomorrow tomorrow they won't be coming to work because you know tomorrow is on a saturday and guys here in saturdays it's unlike nyabohanse you know nyabohanse most of the people around there always go to church on sundays but over here we normally go to church on saturdays so saturdays is a resting day so maybe they will come on sunday and continue with the three courses which are remaining for the house to reach on linton area yes but i'm just hoping for the best and i know that god will see me through and also with your support guys uh don't skip my ads because guys 
that really means a lot to us as youtubers and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't give the video a like yes drop for your, for your girl here a sweet comment on the comment section i will really really appreciate it so guys let's go inside and and see how everything is going on at the moment yeah so as you can see the wall has started uh going up actually it's almost uh how can i say like blocking me yes the wall is going up and i can see so far what i can say so far everything is really really doing good i'm so grateful guys yeah let me just stand here and see see now where the it's reaching like the wall has started to be tall yes so guys this is it this is how so far our project have reached yes maybe let's go inside and take a look whatever is going on yes so this is it and so i'm um, I've entered through the kitchen area yeah and they're still doing an amazing amazing job as usual over here guys yeah the house is big but I believe like everything will just end up well yeah so they are still trying to finish up with the with the partitions of the room so that at least they can be at one level with the stones yeah that's what they're still working on right now this is what they are still working on yeah and as you can see this one they've already re uh levelized it with this wall yeah maybe the one which is remaining is this one is when now maybe on sunday they will come back and finish up to the linton yeah Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah guys so i'd already said like the floor we didn't put the how do i call it the slab on the floor do it to excess use of cement you know doing slabbing it takes a lot of cement so we decided just to leave it and just do a mini slab on where the wall is being built but on the floor we haven't done any slabbing yes because it really consumes a lot of a lot of cement and i'm just trying to minimize the like i'm just going with my budget with the with the money i have yes yeah, so that so that's why we left the floor and slabbed. Yes, maybe when we finish everything is now later on. When later on is now we'll do the slabbing. Yeah, so no pressure guys. Yeah, so guys, I just want to go to the store and see how many cements are remaining. So, so far, these are the stones which are remaining. Yeah, but I hope it will reach in the linton, the stones, because the stones are quite expensive. It's giving... Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so guys, I hope these stones will reach at the linton area because guys the cost the cost is like but i don't want to talk about it yeah so let's go and see how many cements are remaining in the store and so that's my cousin dan who was telling me to go with him yeah and see whatever is going gonna do Yeah, so guys, you're all welcome in our home. 
Yes. You know, I've been seeing uh, many comments like people are really so in love with our home. Yeah, and they say like it's so spacious. Yeah, it's very spacious and very green and very flat. Yeah, so I just want to check on the cement. How many? Oh my god, yeah. So these are the cements which are remaining. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Nine cements so far are remaining. I hope that will kind of push us. It will just push us a little bit. Yes, and where we'll be stuck, I if I get stuck, guys, I will just have to give myself time because I don't want pressure like yeah no pressure just taking things slowly by slowly and it will be just work like as god's plan yeah so let's see what dan wants to do over here yeah you know like i remember like uh you know we normally sell my grandmother always sell uh firewood for for cooking like for the hotel so dan always come and cut some branches and go and what are you want what do you want to do dan maybe you can explain to so us guys, i want to cut some tree branches here yeah for splitting to make fire for cooking maybe yeah. it's rainy season yeah. so getting fire it's, it's a bit hard oh so cutting and splitting it's and then we dry we will dry them in the sun yeah and they can be ready for the cooking are you sure you will uh, will climb that tree? I will climb it. I always do. <laughs> yeah, since, guys. Since I was young. Yeah, remember we used to climb <laughs> a lot of trees and we could fall down like several <laughs> times. <laughs> I have the memories, guys. Memories. Yeah, so you want to, want to climb and cut some branches up there. Yeah, yeah which is so nice. Liam. So guys, do with me. If I cut the tree. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Ni pe pipi." Hey, we show you. Yeah, guys, we are here with Liam also. Yeah, guys, climbing tree over here is so easy because, like this one, even me, I can climb this one. It has steps. You just step here, like, it's not that hard and complicated. And me guys, I really know how to climb trees. I know how to climb trees because like we used to climb trees a lot. And as you all have seen, like we are having a lot of trees. We are having a lot of trees here in our home. Yeah, so he's there. <laughs> Yeah, so that's how we are doing it. I don't know how if we still, my grandmother still sells firewood like before. Yeah, so guys, I just cutting some few branches because also, uh, the branches have been like very cloudy they are everywhere so at least if you cut some few grass branches it ah <laughs> yeah yeah so he has already cut one yeah maybe we can kuja 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 yeah Akuna, go to Hapa. <clears throat> yeah, so this is our main road which goes to Rongo Town. Yeah, so he's still cutting some. Ah, toka kwa bara bara. Toka kwa bara bara. Toka kwa bara bara. Well, the Kenya gua we will send kwa bara bara. Yeah, guys, our home is really blessed. Africa is so blessed. Aya, aya, aya. Hmm? 
Kakanyaga. Kakanyaga wewe. Ah, utaka uta nini? Yeah, guys, yeah, we are really cutting. Hey, Anjo, Anjo, put your hand down. And guys, you know today is on Friday. Yeah, it's a market day. We always have markets on Wednesday and Fridays and Sunday. Yeah, so on Sunday, it, it is always a, a market, a big market, actually between Luos and Kisses, and mostly for for cattle. You see, they just go yeah on sundays is the market for selling goats Mama. cows Mama. yeah so on sunday Mama. guys i will show you like people Mama. always pass Mama. on this road Mama. hey Mama. people always normally Mama. pass through this road Mama. a lot with a lot of Mama. livestock Mama. Mama. yeah so so far jo, jo. so far guys this is uh the branch which we've cut yeah i don't know how this tree is called in english jacaranda. yeah yeah jacaranda <laughs> i kind of forgot yeah so this is jacaranda tree it always bears it has bluish purple splash purplish flowers yes and it, guys it always burn like when it is dried it's always a good for firewood yeah so guys uh Tell me on the comment section like but i've been like seeing a lot of comments people are so so much in love with our home and big up big up to everyone yes yeah, so yesterday we did a live like taking you around our home yeah so i know it it has it is having like some few problems yeah but you can just still go and rewatch it at the beginning it was like it was like we were putting the camera this way so we were or we were like but when you forward it's just okay yeah so kindly go and rewatch my live yes and you will see every corner of this compound and guys before i go back to nyabohanse i want to give you a full tour a full tour of our home yes so so far these are the uh, branches which we've cut yeah so we just have to carry them and take them up yes and there's a lot of trees and you know like uh even yesterday my dad was cutting some eucalyptus for the house yes for the house which we are building even when it my dad my dad actually told me like during roofing we won't be needing like to 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 buy maybe a timbers for roofing the house yeah he said like he ha is having some which he planted so probably he will be taking them from the farm yes liam say hello guys say hello guys <laughs> you're having liam over here and he's running <laughs> yeah liam is really used to this place like he really enjoys it so much bye 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 <laughs> nowadays he's so used to this place he just uh runs around runs everywhere yeah he's so happy come rudy say my hello guys <laughs> pole pole yeah so it, it yeah guys so let's go and split this up in my grandmother's home like in my grandmother's place yeah so um push um i'm pulling this one could you chukwe yeah and also 
cows normally eat the branches of jacaranda, right? Yeah, they eat. Yeah. It's a source of food for cows. Yeah, it's all, it is also a source of food for cows. Eh, any meat in me in A lot of, and guys, these trees are like, they are so old. They are old. <laughs> they are old, guys. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. <laughs> like, like you, uh, you see this tree here in the middle, you remember it? We used to, uh, we used to like catch birds, the pigeons in this tree we could make traps for them yeah, and also this is a jacaranda tree see how big it is this is a jacaranda tree like there are so many types of trees over here which i don't even know their names yeah, yeah so let's go so many trees which i don't even know how they are called and they are old even this one, the one which is in front of us, it's a very old tree. Yeah. Ah, pulling this thing is so hard. See even this tree, it's very old. See how the trunk is very huge. Yes, very old. Yes, okay, so we are here. Pole, pole. <laughs> Liam, this is a kwangusha. <laughs> Pole? <laughs> Liam is falling down, crawling. Oh, not to Yeah, copy. Watch it. Yeah, so this is, uh, these are the, the ones which are already splitted. So this is how we split the, the firewood. Yeah. So we split it there. Yeah. See how he's measuring them. Mama, Mama, Mama. So we are creating firewoods for cooking. Oh, this is not total. This is not total. And guys, yesterday, yeah, now we split it. And, now, and then peel the the outer cover, the skin. <laughs> yeah. So this is how it has been splitted. Then you have to remove the cover for it to dry easily. Yeah, very fast. For a very short time. Yeah. So this cover is a bit watery and thick. Yeah. So it takes time to to dry. To dry. You have to remove the cow. Yeah, but when you peel it, it dries very fast. Very fast. Uh, 
Yeah, I see this one, this one has been splitted. That's how we, we put it here to dry with the rest. I guess on yesterday's live I showed we are having so many pumpkins over here. There are actually a lot of pumpkins. I don't know if yeah, let me just go inside. Nyongo japa baba ni kuje. Apa kuna dudu. Well, let me just go and show you. Ah ah, usi kuje. Apa kuna dudu. Yeah, guys. Just want to show you the pumpkins themselves. Yeah, so I've noticed. Wow, there's so many huge pumpkins over here. Okay, so take a look at these pumpkins. I've never seen such a pumpkin this shape. I'm almost used to the round pumpkins, but guys, take a look at this one. Oops, you see? This is pumpkin. And there's so many, there's so many pumpkin leaves over here. Talk about it. Is it a kuwasha? Hmm? Is it a washer? Yeah, and also there are some uh, bananas. Yeah, so this is a small kitchen garden for my grandmother. There is a lot of these spider plants. I don't know if this, this is a spider plant. Yeah. And some more pumpkins over here. There is a lot, a lot of them. Hey, we need jambe. Yeah, go, go. Yeah, see these. These ones are one of the best uh, vegetables. One of the best. They are very sweet and very healthy. I mean, they are very delicious and healthy. Yeah, and also I've noticed there is uh, there is also this is this is tomatoes, guys. You see. But it should be put some, like, uh, uh, it should be supported. Yeah. So this is a small kitchen garden for my grandmother. Yeah, and these pumpkin leaves are always so good. They are very delicious. Yeah, so let's go. Okay, kuna dudu. Aya, twende, twende, twende. Well, yeah, to di kuume. Yeah, he's telling me he wants to do a video. Okay, so I'm here in my parents' kitchen garden. This is a septic. Yeah. I want to look for some onions because it's almost lunch time yeah and i want to prepare some lunch so this is my parents kitchen garden and guys there are some sweets uh how do we call passion fruits yeah i want to go and look for one and we are having this these fruits in our home so this one nice so should they say it delicious? I wonder what So these are beans. Which are here? Yeah guys, there are some passion fruits over here. I just want to eat one. You see? Like this one, it's good. You have to look for one which is somehow matured. <laughs> matured. 
so that it doesn't taste bitter. So I'm going to look for a nice one. And you see how it is supported? Yeah. Maybe I will go for this one. Let us see inside. You see guys, this one is ripe. This is a sweet passion fruit. Wow. It is so nice. You see how delicious it looks. And guys, here in the village, uh, I know there's someone who will tell me I should wash it first. Yeah, it should be washed. Fruit should be washed first is when you eat you eat but here in the village hmm. it's so delicious until you forget it should be washed first so yesterday I came here and I I really ate a lot of them yeah they are so good and with me I always love passion juices so much I really love passion juices. Hmm. Let me try and look for another one. Hey, yesterday there were so many. I ate like all of them. Maybe let's try out this one. Yeah, this one also is good. You see? Yeah, this one is good. It's just that I'm having. See? Mm. This one is sweet. Though it's a little bit bitter. Because maybe it wasn't that ready. It was not ready. Mm. Maybe we'll come back for more later. Or maybe at that time. Now give them time to to mature well yes and also there are purples there's a lot of purples like this one has started to ripe this one yeah so guys we are here in my parents kitchen garden also at this side these are napier grass for the cows and at this side there are cassava a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot cassavas. There are more cassavas over here. And more purples. There are a lot of purples. So let me go and look for... Just want to look for some onions. Onions, onions, where are you? Looking for onions I don't know if I will find some yeah, and also there are ground nuts here in the chin garden these onions are so hard to find they are so hard to find yes I found one also these are onions we we'll just pluck these ones they are so hard to find just uh, remove the leaves. Yeah, I don't know if I will find 
others also there is one over here and the other one yeah yeah i think these ones are enough this one will be enough because i'm not seeing the rest yeah guys so let's go and cook a lot of bananas there's so many fruits over here a lot of a lot of fruits guys Yeah, so let's go back and do the cooking. Yeah, guys, the house is just going on so well yeah and it has really gone up see mm. it's the height has really gone up so for the house to re, to be on linton area they have to add three courses on top of these for it to be complete yeah so they will be adding three more courses on top of this yes guys this is a dream come true this is a dream come true i'm so happy and i'm so glad and guys uh, as i always say like through you guys we managed to achieve all this yeah, I didn't achieve all this by my own. Yeah. Guys, also is a part of this that I always like show you all the progress which is going on. Oh, guys, let me give you a good angle of everything. I want to stand here and give you a full. Uh, review you see this is so good yeah the in inside the rooms are being partitioned so well you see and Nasso uh, was asking for the stone like he told me to ask how many how much will it cost for these stones to be delivered in Yabohansi. maybe i will go and ask my dad because from where we, we are getting them to this place it's like uh how many dollars for the transport cost um uh, eleven thousand kenyan shillings i don't know in dollars and i don't know if it will cost like twice of it of the amount because uh from where they we they they got these stones up to nyabohanse it's quite far than here in our home so maybe it will cost double the transport cost but if you i believe if you agree with them and you come up with an agreement maybe they will reduce the cost yeah but these ones these ones are the first which my parents bought and these ones tends to be they are very small they are very small like compared to the ones which were recently bought yeah so these ones are quite f smaller and i think the one who sold for them these zones kind of messed them up or maybe they were still not experienced so they just went to they just went for any stone any stones but those ones are much better because those ones uh they were the first one before those ones 
my dad and the contractor himself went and chose yeah so if you want to buy stones it's always advisable you go by yourself and select you have to go by yourself and select the kind of stones you want because if you send someone actually if you send someone they will buy you like the stones which are not like which like you won't really love yeah so that's why it's advisable you go by yourself and select and also these stones the beauty of constructing with these stones are the colors you have to mix the colors yeah it has a yellow color maroon gray so you have to mix them but when you send for you only send like someone or maybe on through phone they might as well put for you one color or maybe they might put one color and the rest maybe a few but if you go by yourself you know you go for quality and the best and also you mix uh, various colors yeah so Nasto was asking me um, Nasto told me to ask for these stones if they can be transported all the way from where they are made to Nyabohanse yes so in a few in a few minutes before i forget i will just go and ask for yeah so guys this is how our project is going on here in our home work is still going on as usual and guys there's some birds at that tree over there the gate you can hear the sound of nature wow And there are so many birds. There are so many birds, like bird houses. I've seen a lot of bird houses in our home. I think because of uh, the trees. You see, this this tree is as it has uh, reddish reddish flowers, and also you know, uh, birds always love flowers. Trees where there are a lot of flowers, because birds normally feed on nectar. There are many of them. Yeah, guys. So, just giving you a tour of how everything is over here in our home. Yeah. So this side will be the back side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go and check on the duck. And I told my mom when I'll be leaving for Nyabohanse, I will have to carry this duck which has the kids. Yeah, so before I end my video, I won't forget this my beauties. Yeah, I will have to carry them to Nyabohansi and I'd already ask Nafto to build a house because I will be coming with these. I really love them. <laughs> and the ducks, they are like uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, there are five ducks. We are having five ducks. She has. They're just resting here in the shed. They're just chilling. They're, these are coffee berries. Coffee. Coffee seeds. Though. 
they just grew up over here by themselves so they have no use this is where so they at least now the tree it acts like a shelter for our ducks over here and chickens Oh, I will have to go with these ducks. Mm. Okay, so just over here, and this is also avocado tree, which is really grown, though it hasn't started producing seeds yet has not started producing seeds nakuja <laughs> baba mm yeah guys so i'm about to end my video and i'm just here in our chicken house yeah so give the video a like if you haven't subscribed to the channel I will really really appreciate you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop your girl here a sweet comment on the comment section. Positive vibes all the way. And those that took their time to watch this video, I'm so grateful. Yeah, for the love and support. And anyway, guys, let me just end my video right now. And bye bye for now. See you next time in my next video.